Hi, Marty Lecklader, Product Manager, Forums Experience Builder, with a sneak peek at my favorite features from Feb 861. The first is document services for filling PDFs. Let's illustrate with a blank form. I'll add a PDF file to this blank form. I'll save the form. And then I'll go over to Services, add a new service configuration, and you can see a new configuration type for documents. It recognizes that the PDF is attached. And when I select Inputs, it sees all the input fields in this fillable PDF, which of course I can fill from my FEB application. So I went ahead and created a FEB application and used the same PDF. Let's take a look. So we'll fill out this Passport Advantage enrollment form. Uh, we'll tell it that we're an originating site, the commercial organization. We're in the consumer products business. Small organization, 1 to 1,000 people. And the name of my company is Green Wheels. And I went ahead and did a little auto pre-pop magic here just to speed things up. So this is the primary contact and we'll set the administrative contact to the same and of course the site technical contact will make that the same as well to speed things along and uh, the language is English so we go ahead and we answer all these questions and at some point in the form we have an event so in this case it's pressing a button which then generates the PDF which is populated with everything we entered uh, so at this point, I can do whatever I need to with the PDF. I could attach it to the FEB, FEB record. I could use it in some other service. The next couple of features we're going to take a look at is the success page, which is new, and a visual indicator for when um, what I have saved is different than what I have deployed. So if we go into Form Properties, we can see that you can show upon submission this new success page. And when we go into Stage Properties, we've got the ability to set whatever information we want on this page using the Rich Text Editor. So let's go ahead and we'll save this. And since what, I, what I've saved is now different than what, what is deployed, I'm getting this visual indicator telling me that the two are different. When I deploy this, the visual indicator goes away. And now I can launch my application with the updates, put some data in, And then this will let me see the new success page. So this is simple, but it can be as, as visual as you want it to be. The next exciting feature is drag and drop across pages. So let's go into that same app. We'll add another page. Let's go to the first page. Let's get this text widget, and let's move that to the second page. And this works with any widgets with the exception of tables. So let's drag this entire section and we'll move it above that text widget. Visual indicator for rules, a new rule edit behavior. Uh, so we can see a little indicator there on the ruler to indicate that this field has a rule associated with it. Uh, when you click into the field, you see just the rule for that field. Rules can have names now as well. So this makes them easier to follow. Set titles, new JavaScript function. This one I really like. It lets you do things like have multilingual forms. So what I'm going to do is test to see if the select one is uh, Spanish or English. If it's Spanish, then I'm going to set titles. If it's English, I'm going to leave them as is. We'll run this application. And you can see the titles dynamically change. Current date setting on the date widget. This is a real time saver. If you want the date to pop up with today's date, you simply just click that option. No button setting on tables. 
So these are just a few of the features you can expect to see in Feb 861 this June 2015.